Okay, so far, I think I might have got a little too much ported box. <laughs> um, my drill died, so I just had to throw things together with clamps and stuff to see how it was coming. But this is my ported section. This is roughly 4.288. All right, and this will be my sealed section. As you see, it's at a 45. It's not screwed in or nothing. I don't have anything. This thing's loose. Matter of fact, it might just fall out at any point in time right now. But uh, it's at a 45. And there's going to be three rows of subs. You know, five, uh, five per row. It's 15 subs. And this is three cubic feet. What I measured but I'm gonna have to take some of it out um, I screwed up I wanted to build the front part here on the outside but as you see I screwed here so it's gonna be in the inside so even though that doesn't look like a lot of area oh it's only three quarter but it is quite a bit because how wide and big this area is I'm gonna be taking out at least a, a half to well I'd say a quarter maybe maybe a quarter but I think I've definitely overdone it for the ported side. Walk around here, because this part is not only going to be the ported side, but that other big son bitch is going to be. So, <laughs> uh, you dummy. Oh well. Yeah, it's, everything's ready to get screwed, but my drill died. So, who knows? I know I'm going to be putting some uh, supports in here. I might put four to take up a little more room because uh, the wider you go, the more box flex you get. And I don't want any box flex. And I plan on using this piece a little bit later. Matter of fact, I, I probably won't put no caulking or glue or something like that to uh, put the top part on. Other parts I might, I might just run a little bit of a bead, just something I'll be able to break it loose. Um, Cause this in here is actually done really nice. But uh, this part's just for this SPL challenge, and uh, yeah, my damn uh, thought my flashlight was on. It's not. That's why it's not showing up. But that's why I really don't. I don't care too much. I mean, yeah, I'll still have a correct sealed. I uh, calculated uh, each sub should take probably 0.18 to 0.20. Um, yeah, and tomorrow I should be unboxing all 15 of those monster subs. I have four right now. They screwed up. I paid fully for 16. I ordered 16 in case one came. That was shit. So they sent me four. So I called up the company. What's going on? So they told me, uh, they only had enough to fill for four. I was like, wait a minute, you took my money, you never sent me an email, you never called, you know, tell me that you're leaving dear John or nothing like that. So like, oh, we're really sorry about that. And they stopped. Oh, kidding me? So they end up uh, giving me a $10 coupon, coupon and my subs will be here tomorrow. They're supposed to be here today so I can cut everything and this thing will be all together. But uh, it's getting late, I'm getting tired. And you see, she's uh, pretty much right on. You know, you'll see a little bit of a lip down here. It's because I don't have any clamps, and this is actually pushing against a little bit. I mean, it's it's precise. Everything is. Uh, this is twenty one and a half. No, this is forty. This is forty. Stupid. This is forty, and uh, of course, this is thirty eight and a half because uh, you know three quarter, three quarter, negative an inch and a half. But. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I want to hear what it sounds like. And up here, you know, because this is a fourth order, you will be able to see the subwoofers. I do have a little design I'm going to be putting here. And you'll be able to see through here. And I'm going to try to put maybe a... I don't want to put the strip down here because it'll shine right up. So I'm thinking about putting a strip right here, LEDs. To shine down on the, the subs and uh or i might just put it like right against the wall here and of course i'll run the old uh nut and bolt through the side here for the 12 volt 
I got a bunch of different LEDs. I bought a whole bag full a while ago. I was going to stick them on my car, and then I was going to stick them on my motorcycles, and they just still sit in a bag, so I'll put them to good use. So I'd be able to see through here. I just got to figure out what kind of design I want to do. Do I want to just put uh, rectangles? Do I want to do some circles? I don't want nothing too big because the stuff I'm using is kind of laughable. It's strong, but it's somewhat thin. So uh, more on that later. But that's the reason why I don't want a big because the bigger, the more that material will flex. The smaller, it's pretty much almost indestructible unless you take a hammer to it. So I might just put like a tiger stripes or something here or RSL for my company. Um, that would just take too much, but uh, who knows? Who knows? That's what I got for right now.